Yo, what is up everybody? It's Steven Stongs here, back again with another video, because I've been posting in two weeks, and yeah, so this was like the type of story I was going to hold out for like 5k, 10k subs, but since I'm out of content, and I don't care what I post anymore, because I give up at this point, this is what we got. It is a story time on a girl who um, actually was my friend's girlfriend that wanted to suck my peen. And that's all I gotta say. Without further ado, let's get into the video. I've been walking around with zero bitches. I don't got no misses, bitches. Tell me my your business. Had to switch it up, don't get no fucks about your mistress. Got this story time starts off at the beginning of my junior year, whenever I walk into my Spanish class. And for the most of you guys I don't know, I really hate this Spanish class. It is a horrible class. I hate the language. And oh my gosh, did you did Dingus just say that he hates Spanish? That's so racist and homophobic. I honestly don't care. Like you guys could cancel me for this in the future when I write like 200, 300 thousand subscribers. I honestly don't care. Um, just give me the clout, please. Just like add my at you know like at Dingus Dongus YT on Instagram and all that stuff. But <laughs> Um, I hate this Spanish class that I can't even say it. I hate this Spanish class. Uh, English is so much better. And I'm not talking about the England English. I'm not talking about the one like all the way in the United Kingdom. That English sucks. Who calls fries crumpets or whatever you guys call them. And, um, yeah, but the American English, top English, top of the line. Nobody can top it. But yeah, without, without that out of the way, um, this girl, as I walk in, this girl um, notices me like the second I sit down, instantly comes my way. I don't know who she is. I don't recognize her. Actually, no, that's a lie. I kind of do recognize her. Um, she looks oddly familiar, and I don't know, don't know from where. And um, it takes me about um, two, three weeks of just us talking. She's pretty cool. I'm like, okay, I know, I know. I'm starting to like get familiar with her. She still seems familiar, but I still don't know how. And until I saw that our teacher gave us like a few packets of homework to do, and I looked over and I saw her name, and it does will not believe it. It was Samantha. <laughs> yes, I know. Samantha from the Church Camp Story Time. Oh my gosh. Somebody like emoji. I don't know what you guys do with this stuff anymore. But that's when everything clicked in my head. And I'd never say anything like, hey, I didn't know who you were, to be honest. But yeah, everything clicked to my head. And I, that's when I instantly asked him, wait a minute, um, are you and Ethan still together? She says, no, we're not, but she has a new man. And this man was named Jimmy. And this, I was surprised when she said Jimmy because I have Jimmy in my period before this class. And I sit almost right next to Jimmy for the first semester. But fast forward a few months later, because this doesn't really matter, Jimmy now moves into my next class, the Spanish class I have with Samantha, to be with Samantha, I guess, because that's why, I don't know why, but <laughs> the, he did that, and I can't hate, I don't, I didn't have a girlfriend at the time, um, but fast forward a few months, and Jimmy has COVID, and he was only out for about a week, though, because he got COVID over the um, a break that we had, and um, that's, yeah, that's pretty much it, he got COVID, he was out for a week, and Samantha, I noticed, is bugging me a bit more than usual. And she's talking to me more. She's doing my homework. And that's surprising because, I, I don't know, she never did my homework and stuff like that, which is kind of weird. And um, I wasn't the smartest thing in the world whenever um, we started having this conversation, but I wasn't the smartest guy ever. And um, I said these words that probably was not the best to pick, but I said them anyways because I like bad ideas. And I said... I think I figured out your type because I think she started flirting with me because I noticed like she was like talking to me more, a bit more to me and stuff like that. And then she also said um, a few things about church camp, how she liked me a lot and stuff, which is pretty confusing to me. But I said, I figured out your type, tall, skinny, anorexic looking guys. And then she straight up looked me in the eyes and said, yep. And she turned red a little bit, which I got a little uncomfortable by, but she did say that. And... Some of you guys may not know this, but um, I am a six foot underweight skinny kid and I look anorexic. So, <laughs> yeah, um, after that, she keeps uh, mentioning how like she has no one to go, go to lunch with. I'm like, um, do I be a good person and go to lunch with her? And I said, uh, sure, because this was like the one day the normal group I go with, none of them were here. They were out doing something else or whatever. 
And I said, yeah. F it, sure. So I told her I was going to hit Jimmy up, saying, like, hey, I'm telling him what's happening. Like, I'm going to lunch with you because he's a little protective. And Jimmy was also, like, protective and clingy, I should say. Protective and clingy, which is not a good mix in some cases, but it's whatever. But she says, yeah. no, nah, it's all good. He won't know. And to be honest, that should have been a small red flag for me. For some of you guys, maybe not. But that should have been one. And, yeah, uh, it went straight over my head. We went a while. We went a while and we were talking while we were walking. She was telling me some of Jimmy's flaws and other things, telling me how much better I would be instead of him. And at this and that and stuff like this, telling me all this weird stuff I don't want to hear. And then she brings up church camp and says the reason why she even walked up to us, uh, me and my group of eat, I believe, I forgot the names of us, Pablo and something else. I think it was Ethan. Um, but yeah, he wa she walked up. He, he, ugh, I can't even talk anymore. She walked up to us because she thought I was cute. And at this point, I'm just looking at myself like ego. I'm like, yep, yep, okay. I'm sl I could slide with anybody I want now if I'm cute because every girl likes me apparently. But um, she also started telling me about how like Lily was stealing me from her and how I, and I'm not a very friendly person. Flirt, flirty, yes, yes, flirty. Um, but I'm not a very flirty person, but I like to just say dumb things, and bad ideas are fun ideas in my book. But, and then I say, hey, I would have kissed both of you guys, you should have just asked. And she goes, really? And I go, yeah, probably. And I bring up how, like, Lily wanted to give me, like, some sloppy toppy, and then she says, I would have too. And that's when my mind just broke, and... All that came out of my mouth was, damn, okay, I see you. But we walked back to the school after we got our food and all that stuff. And this um, is a little, this will be important later. But I look over and I made eye contact with one of my friends. And he smells and gives me like a surprise face. Like, hey, you're the new girl. Who's this one? And I shake my head, no. And I keep walking because we both know that this is my friend's girlfriend and all that stuff, and he's nowhere to be around. We get into this band building where she wanted to eat at, and I was like, okay, um, so I'm a little tense about this one because I like to make fun of band kids a lot at the school because they're obviously stereotypical. And in this band building, there were a few stereotypical band kids, and I kid you not, they did the stereotypical, that stereotypical, it looks like the most I've said it ever, but they did it the most stereotypical stuff ever. And I thought it was absolutely hilarious and how cringy they were. But as I walk in there, everyone is looking at me and like, hey, I don't belong here. I am like as far as away I should be from the band building, to be honest. But and they all like start asking me, like, hey, what are you doing here? And like, what are you doing with her? She's with our other band kid boy. And <laughs> I said, I don't know, man. I mean, I ain't sliding with her. I ain't doing nothing with her. And... But I look over to my left side, and I see my black friend. And some black people have this way of communicating with each other if they're in a room full of white people. And that's where we were in. And we started getting ourselves like little hand signals and like communicating with each other, quote unquote. And essentially, so like, y'all like a thing or something? Like you, like a, you like a rebound from Jimmy? I go, nah, nah, nah. We chilling. I'm chilling. And, um, like... So that's like pretty much what happens with lunchtime, and we fast forward about like 30 minutes later, I'm listening to music in my, on my phone, and my phone goes off saying like, I got a message from Samantha, and it says, and I quote, I don't think it'll be a big deal anyway since I didn't flirt with you, flirt with you in front of anyone, and this, this like hint flies straight over my head, and I am really, really bad at picking up hints, if you guys don't know this, I am really bad, and I said, it's all right, we didn't we didn't do anything bad, it was, we were chilling. And she repeats herself, and I said it again. And she repeats herself a third time, and says, you didn't get it, did you? I said, no. And then she says, and I read, I'm like, oh, I get it now. And I said, you like me, don't you? And she goes, yes. And I, my face turns red, because I'm like, oh, this ain't, this ain't good, this is gonna be a problem soon. And... <laughs> This is my boy. I can't do my board dirty like this. 
And um, so people around me started noticing. Like, I get, I got a little bit red because I was like, this is like new to me. Um, this is not. My, this is the first time my friend's girlfriend has liked me, and I'm not used to this type, kind of things. But, um, yeah, um, there's like no way of hiding it. Um, everyone saw how red I was, and um, I sit around with a ton of girls. Like I sit around like a lot of like I'm in a corner, and there's like two or three like layers of just girls. And that like are all like gossipy and stuff like that and they see me like hey yo are you good because they like it's like a blush red and um i say yeah yeah i'm good i'm chilling i'm chilling i'm chilling and um but i talked to this one girl about it because i kind of trust her and she doesn't like her any like that much i'm like okay cool i can tell her but i notice out of the corner of my eye like them like eavesdropping you know like how they have a little head tilt you know like having their ears pointed our our way like hear us and um i absolutely started dying laughing and they find out who the girl is just off of that they essentially find out who it is and i said but they don't know her name they don't they know like who the girl is they know like he's she's sorry she she is dating one of my friends and she has a boyfriend obviously and she likes me they don't know who the girl is though and I get home, I talk to my boys, um, I tell Jesus, Wyatt, and Elijah, saying, hey, if a girl, hypothetically speaking, who has a boyfriend likes you, and you're good friends with the guy, uh, what should I do? What should you do? Um, they all tell me I should like tell him and all that stuff. And I'm like, okay, you know what? Screw it. My seventh period, I'm going to tell him, and that's going to be it. And seventh period rolls around, huh, rolls around, and he like comes up and say, "Yo, what up, Dingus? You're my boy and all that stuff." And he's just excited and all that stuff. And I look up, I just like look down my phone, like I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this, because like it just, I don't want to break his mood. <laughs> um, if that makes any sense. But um, a girl kicks me, says, "Are you going to tell him?" And listen. I'm not a snitch until it involves uh, me or my homies, and this is a time involved me or my homies. Well, actually, me and my homie. But so I'm like, okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna tell him. So I walk up. He says, "What up, Bingus?" I said, "Yo, I gotta talk to you. Something really important." And he takes a minute to process it, like if I'm joking or not, and I'm giving like a serious look. So, but he sits down, and I tell him what happened. He asked me if I got any messages. I'm like, yeah, I got some. I'm going to show you them. And, um, yeah, uh, I was actually smart for it, and I didn't mention. Like, so you know how she said, I like you. She asked me if I liked your back, and I stayed quiet. I said, you kind of, like, dated two of my friends. So, like, I don't really have an answer for it. So I don't, like, you know, um, dig myself in a foxhole, whatever you guys want to call it. And <laughs> so, um. William actually reads all these messages. I call him William now? What the heck? <laughs> but Jimmy, Jimmy, after he sees all these messages, tells me that, like, that she has done this before. This isn't the first time she's done this. But, yeah, um, she has this, yeah, um, she flirts, she flirts with other guys sometimes. I go, bro, how are you going to still date a girl who um, has done this before, who uh, flirts, who is known to flirt with other guys, even when she's dating one of them? And that absolutely confused me, but hey, I'm not a, I'm not in a relationship. I don't understand it apparently. <laughs> but um, I I still think it was very stupid. Even like now, I still think it's stupid. I don't know why he did break up with her, because yeah, he didn't break up with her. You guys didn't know this. Um, yeah. Uh, so he says to me. He tells me, hey, um, what happened? Um, what happened with just now? We're gonna go confront her about it. And I'm like, okay, cool. I like to, I like to cause problems. Let's go do it. And we walk up to her after the bell rings, and um, he's like, you're very anxious. Like this boy's speed walking all the way over there, and he sits her down, and he tells her, says, "Hey, Dingus, told me what happened." And her face instant, instantaneously gets bright red and storms off like absolutely really fast. Now I, I want to go follow her. And Jimmy stops me saying, yo, you can go to work because I had to work in like 20 minutes. 
I didn't have to walk there. He says, you could go to work. I'll handle this. I'm like, this, this ain't going to be good, but okay, I got you. So that's what I did. And I had a bad feeling about it. Something was not going to be in my favor. And while I go to work, I'm sitting down, I'm eating my food. And I decide to message Jimmy saying, hey, how are things doing? And I get no response. And I set my phone down. 10 minutes later, go by, 10 minutes go by. And my phone goes off again. And it's a message from Samantha. And I just know, I just know, you know, that it ain't going to be good. This is going to be like either a sob story or it's going to be like an anger, like, yo, stay out of my business kind of message. And you guys can know, you guys will know what kind of message it is. It's the number two one. Um, it's like, stay out of my business, ho. <laughs> and um, so I open it and she says, why do you have to lie to Jimmy like that? And I told her, lie about what? She said, about me flirting with you. I'm like, boy, do you not read the messages? You literally said you flirted with me. I'm like, ah, like this irritated me. Like I was so pissed. And I told, and now everything's starting to click in my head. Like, wow, this chick is really, really shady. Like it's pissing me off talking about it now. This chick is so manipulative and shady. And I even had message proof that she somehow talked a way out of it and made me look like the bad guy. I don't know how she did that, but she must be really good at doing this stuff. She must do it a lot, a lot, I must say. <laughs> but um, she's like, it's like, hey, stay out of my relationship, you stupid dirtbag. Uh, it's not your relationship. It's not your problem. And I didn't say say this, but I said, you're literally flirting with other guys. This is this isn't the first time you did it. This like I don't know how he's still with you. To be honest, you're a hoe. And but the, after that, like I just left her on red. The argument's done for the day. And I'm just pissed for the rest of the day. And that's when it clicks in my head. What if this nigga tries to fight me tomorrow? And I'm like, okay. So I stay up late, and I'm hopping myself up. I'm doing shadow boxing. I'm working on my arms. I'm getting my swing going. I knew like these KSI movements type of stuff. And um, the next day comes and William and Samantha are still together. Surprisingly. Um, I did that sarcastically if you guys don't know this. But um, next day comes. They're still together. And it confused me at first. I said, oh, well, probably, you know, uh, manipulator. She probably manipulated that. That'll be the bit of a uh, she probably manipulated her way out of this, and I said, oh, well, what can I do about it? And I nod to William, saying, yo, what's up, be good? He goes, he doesn't even look at me in my, my direction. Like, he notices me, he ignores me. And then, um, you know, like, you have that feeling when someone's just absolutely de death staring you? Yeah, um, I turn around to, like, talk to my friends, and Samantha is absolutely death staring me. And she's like, she wants to, like, she hates me. Like, she wants to cut my guts out and eat him in front of me, like, type of hates. And I thought this was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> when I started laughing. It was not helping the situation, but I started laughing. <laughs> and um, I was like, huh, I wonder if Jamie's going to Jamie's gonna try to fight me. And um, I guess he didn't. But um, I was, like, waiting all day, like, hey, we should fight each other. I am down to fight you. But he never tries to. But fast forward a month, and um, I'm also a very hard person to hate because I just am. I am just, like, very cool, you know. You, you'll hate me for, like, two weeks, and then you'll me, hate me again. Because apparently, William and Samantha are now... I'm cool, I've been cool with William for about, like, a month prior to this. But Samantha starts, like, playing, like, I message cams with me again and all that stuff. Like, okay, cool. She started doing some more of my homework. Like, are you trying to, like, flirt with me again? Like, what's happening here? And... Uh, that's not really much else to say about this story. That's pretty much it. Um, Jimmy and Samantha ended up um, breaking up after the school year anyways because Cindy was a senior, we're juniors. But that's essentially it. And Samantha, if you're hearing this, um, you don't have a slap. I'm joking, I'm joking. Get out of my face, you hoe. But yeah, that's essentially the story. Jimmy, if you're looking at this, you know who you are. Um, you're stupid. I must say you're really stupid but like that's it hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like and subscribe comment down below um what you would have done if you're in the situation and that's essentially it goodbye everybody here's to the ones that we got 
Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not Cause the drinks bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back memories Bring back you